Hi, and welcome back to some King Koi, Golden Leverage. Why are we back? Good question. So, the day that I completed Rhea's route, I noticed something. Now, get this. Check this out. If we go here on extras, I noticed here that there's like a image here missing for Sylvia, and there's also one missing for Rhea. So then I was like, huh, that's really weird. So I started asking around, and a handful of you guys said, oh yeah, you missed an important cutscene. At the end of Sylvia's route, you have to do blah, 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 blah. And uh, yeah, I was like, oh, well, uh, I don't know if that's what these are, but all I know is I have to go. Could I stop the music? Oh, great. Great. All I know is I have to go to the end of Sylvia's route. And apparently there's going to be a cutscene there and then go back to extras and apparently something else supposed to happen or I'm supposed to see something. I don't know. But anyways, uh, let me do that real quick. It's probably going to be an extremely short video because, well, I didn't think I was going to come back to do that. So, yeah. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to remember, though, where was the option here for her route, for Sylvia's route? Let me try save seven. I, I think that's where the end of the route is at. I don't know. But let's see. I have quite a bit to skip here. I've been skipping for like three, four or five minutes. I don't even know. Look at Rhea, look at Rhea. Gives me chills. Especially knowing why she says that and what happens with her. Oh my god. It, it, it relives that pain from that last episode. Oh man. Give me that cutscene, please. I worked so hard to get here. Oh, I think I think I got it. I think I got it, guys. Huh? Huh? Bro! <laughs> what? She looks just like her too. Oh my god. Dude. Your dream? Huh? What? Did it ha Wait, what? I have so many questions out. And look, there's the ring that they were talking about. I still have questions. What? Like, why? Why is it that they made us finish the entire... Oh, actually, no, it makes sense. It does make sense. Skip that. But, like, it I just find it so weird that this... Maria Child had that dream where they were dancing, which is where Rhea was like, oh yeah, you know, they're the couple I wanted, I could die happily, blah, 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 blah. It's just, imagine the coincidence hearing that as the parent. I'd be like, what the f Like if she was there, or it is Maria but in spare or something. I don't know, it's weird. That's how I see it, that's how I feel it. You guys know what I mean? I really hope you guys know what I mean. Look. とっても素敵な夢なのよ。さあ。さあね。それはとっても素敵。ワールドと出会って恋に落ちて、ワールドは毎日かっこよくて。本当よ。いつでもかっこよく<笑> <本当よ。いつでもかっこよくいてくれたわ。笑> なんか、あの。さあね。マリア、そろそろコンサートの時間だわ。Your concert? 本当だ。準備しなくちゃ。
ぐーぐー寝ていたけれど喉の調子はいいかしら平気よちょうどいいくらい She's a singer too. Oh my god, literally Maria, dude. Maria died but came back as their child. <laughs> dude. That's insane. I got chills. Dude, <laughs> crazy, and she happens to sound just like Maria Bishop, too. The OG Maria Bishop that's insane. The reincarnation of Maria Bishop. Oh my god, wait, let's see here. Let's make beautiful music together, reach the true end. That's the true end. Okay, now. Like I said earlier, after that, I was supposed to do the extra. Golden memories unlock the hidden special end. Unlock all achievements, golden time. What the freak is going on? Am I gonna cry again? Oh no. I don't want to. Not again, please. Oh, not the hospital room. Now I'm confused. Did they get married before she died? I'm, I'm so lost. Oh, wow. So that was what was missing for Sylvia. That's crazy. And then for Rhea, the wedding. Dude, <laughs> that's crazy. What? I'm at a loss of words. Dang. Okay. Well, I'm a little salty. I didn't know about that, but you know what? I came back. I finished the job for real this time. The fact that baby Maria remembered such a specific memory and Sylvia knew exactly what she was talking about. I had that dream when you two were like dancing together. You guys were a lot younger. You guys look super happy. And then to top it off, that kid looks exactly like Maria. She has the same name as Maria. She's a singer like Maria. And she, oh my God, I don't know. It's so, it's so interesting. To put it as short as possible, it could have just been a coincidence. I wonder if there's been a case like that in real life where a child remembers a specific thing in a dream that happened between two parents that actually did happen in the parents' life. That's what I'm trying to get at here. You know what? Let me ask. Has there ever been an instance where a child has a dream of their parents of an event that actually did happen in the parents' life? In the parents' lives? There are anecdotal stories and accounts where children have described dreams or experiences that align with events from their parents' lives. Often events the child couldn't have known about. These occurrences are sometimes reported in the context of shared family experiences, intuitive connections, or even in discussions around past lives and certain cultural or spiritual beliefs. However, there is no scientific evidence that can definitely definitively explains such phenomena from a psychological perspective such occurrences could be coincidental or they might involve subtle cues 
or stories the child has absorbed without realizing it. Human memory and perception are complex, and sometimes people may unconsciously pass on information to their child in ways that later manifest in dreams or seemingly intuitive moments. In summary, while there are stories of this nature, they are typically considered intriguing but unexplained phenomena rather than evidence of a discrete, a direct, excuse me, very different, of a direct transference of memories or experiences between parents and child. So from what I get, what I get from that is that there have been stories where children describe dreams or experiences that sound like something that did happen between the parents. But the thing is, sometimes people... It's it's like in a way people hint or give out minor details unconsciously or unintentionally. And, you know, that child's brain just kind of puts it together and it's like, oh, yeah, this. And then the parents are like, oh, what the hell? Well, or they could have seen it online somewhere and it just happened to be that that story also applied to the parents. So we could safely say that the writers decided to do that on purpose. Um, but. I'm not saying it's impossible that baby Maria here somehow remember that very specific memory. And I just like how they did that, how I went to the dance and then, you know, baby Maria and Sylvia are together. And then it's, it just threw me off. I was like, whoa, 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 what the, like, is there some like scientific explanation for that? Or is that just coincidental? In most cases, we could safely say, unless you're spiritual and there's a different meaning to it. I like to think scientifically, but also I do have... A spiritual side if we're talking scientific we could say it was just a coincidence but we'll never know the thing is though is that that kid remembered something very specific and she looks exactly like maria and she does exactly what maria did spiritual in a sense w would probably be something like oh maria reincarnated as their child and it's just it's just crazy it's just crazy to think about you know the brain is very complex but with that being said, I'm sorry, I started nerding out. I know it was just supposed to be about the whole King Court thing. But I thought, you know what? Since it's going to be a short video, why not make it maybe maybe a little more interesting? I thought it was interesting. But just seeing that coincidence and seeing that kid exactly like that, it just threw me off. But anyways, with that being said, I'm going to shut up and end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick, quick, quick extra episode that I did not mean to do. But here I am. Thank you guys to the ones that let me know about this. Thank you so much for letting me know. If you did not tell me, uh, I probably would have Googled it. I'm not going to lie. But still, I could have forgotten and just left it like that. But thank you so much for <laughs> letting me know, seriously, because I seriously did not know about there being a secret ending or a true end. And, you know, that just. So the secret ending was that they got married before she passed and the true end, them having a kid. Uh, but I did hear, <laughs> I did hear also about how or it was confirmed my suspicions that the golden time game the second game to this is going to be a continuation kind of of the characters that we saw in this game and we're even going to get an ayaka and minaru and that's going to be interesting i'm very much looking forward to it and i decided that i am going to play golden time but i am also going to continue cafe stella just because i started that visual novel first and that's the one i have not finished and also i really want to get into it you know i do miss it and of course there are other original novels too but for the most part i'm going to be focusing on those two probably or might even throw in something else as well i don't know it doesn't matter we'll figure it out uh but no worries i'll let you guys go but thank you so much for watching but anyways that's it thank you so much for watching and if you did enjoy this video hit that like subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in the next video as always until next time